National 5 Biology students do this past paper question with me. This first one says, Euglena is a single-celled organism found in water. The diagram shows some of the structures within the euglena. So we've got a chloroplast, we've got this structure A, and we've got a cell membrane. Part 1, name structure A. Okay, so hopefully this is straightforward. Structure A is going to be the nucleus. Okay, structure A is our nucleus. Number two, give the function of a chloroplast. And again, I'm hoping this is a straightforward uh, knowledge question. It is the site of, and if you don't know your cell structure functions yet, that's something to go back and have a little look over. So the site of photosynthesis for the chloroplast. B, suggests why euglena is not a typical plant cell. Well, if we look at the euglena, what is it missing that a typical plant cell would have? The first thing that I see here is it doesn't have the outer structural ring around it called the cell wall. Okay, so it has no cell wall around it. And also I can't see within it a vacuole. Okay. Now it would also be acceptable to mention mitochondria for this one too, so we'll just add that one in too. Okay, any one of these three is missing from this organism that we would find within a typical plant cell. And then part C, the average body length of a euglena is 50 micrometers and it can travel 1.3 body lengths in one second. Calculate how many micrometers a euglena could travel in 30 seconds. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to do something with this initial information. The body length is 50 and it can travel 1.3 body lengths in a second. So let's find out what 1.3 body lengths is. And we do that by getting the 50 for one body length and times in it by 1.3. And that will give us 65, okay? Now if we can travel 65 micrometers in one second, how many can it travel in 30 seconds? Well, we're just doing 65 times by 30. And when we pop that into our calculator, that gives us 1,950. And we just remember to put our answer where they, they actually want us to put it in the question. Okay, hope that helps folks. See you in the next one.